G'day, I'm the Fauna Fetcher and in this video I want to teach you how to tell the difference between frogs and toads. But first, let's find some. seem like a simple task but in actual fact many people get frogs and toads mixed up. See here in Australia we only have one true toad. This is the cane toad. See in 1935 settlers introduced cane toads to decrease the cane beetle population. However this failed miserably as most Australians would know. And as as long as I can remember we as kids we were encouraged to to sadly kill cane toads because they're decimating and destroying our wildlife and it environment. I'm gonna... But the problem is that many of Australia's frogs look quite similar to toads. And I'm gonna show you a quick few tips on how to tell the difference between the two. Some Australian frog species that may resemble cane toads include the gunga, the tusk frog, the great barred frog, and the scarlet sided pobblebunk. And some of these species are actually endangered. So it is really important to be able to tell the difference between toads and these frogs. All right, so here are the few gen general characteristics you can use to tell the difference between cane toads and frogs. Frogs have longer, more powerful legs used for jumping and hopping. Unlike toads have shorter and more stubbier legs that they can only use for walking and crawling with. Frogs generally have smoother, moist skin, and they're found in moist environments. Unlike toads, which can be found in moist and dry environments, and can have dry or moist skin, and appear to have bumpy skin. However, there are some frog species that appear to have bumpy skin, so you've got to look out for that one. In addition, toads have that obvious poison gland behind their ear, as you can see here, which becomes very enlarged and apparent when the toad is threatened. For the people who have ponds or bird baths in their backyard, there's an easy way you can tell between amphibian eggs whether they're toads or frogs. So frogs often lay their eggs in clumps, unlike toads who lay their eggs in long strips within the water body. So usually people find toads or frogs in their backyard, but personally, I mostly encounter them on the road, which means you have to be fast and quick at telling the difference between the two. Personally, when I'm on the road, I use two distinct characteristics to quickly tell the difference between frogs and toads. Firstly, toads usually sit up and frogs usually lay down. But you also have to use this in combination with their size. See, frogs on the road are usually small and are hopping really high. Unlike toads, who are larger animals and hop slash walk. So I hope you enjoyed my video and learned a few things as well. I'm the Fauna Fetcher and I'm flying out. Oi! Um, what about me?